Are they, is it not a boring weekend in, in Lagos? Oh, absolutely not. Fashion week is like the best time to be in town. You got fashion shows, obviously you got the fashion parties. Dude, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> My name is Ivan, people call me as well Face Hunter. I travel the world documenting creative scenes and contemporary culture. I'm right now in Lagos, Nigeria, the largest city, the most populated city in Africa. I'm gonna be and taking you around. Here. Yes, I know. I'm gonna take you around uh, this crazy city, and we're gonna meet poets, designers, musicians, and I can promise one thing: you're gonna fall in love with this place and its people. I come from a place where mothers go to battle each day with the baby strapped across their backs, another still clinging from their breasts. It is childcare at its finest. A place of street businessmen who don't need a white collar to make deals. They sign contracts with handshakes. Shirtless, sometimes shoeless, they will show you how to make money, make money. And you will find anything in these streets from hubcaps to toilet seats, and it's been said. If you leave home naked, find yourself caught in the gridlock traffic of Lagos roads, they will have you dressed. Boardroom, sharp briefcase in hand between the mainland and the island, and I come from a place of jaw-dropping mansions and face-me-I-face you rooms. Where a child hawks goods in the blazing sun next to an air-conditioned Mercedes-Benz, there are dichotomies here. With abject poverty chewing at the seams that bind us, but we are the same people who built a city on water, who bent fire and metal to give you arts, built empires before the world's first breath. Check your textbooks. Better yet, check your encyclopedias, read between the lines, you will find us there, you will find us everywhere. Every continent, every country, every climate speaking, Portuguese, French, Italian, and they call us uncivilized. We can show you how to perfectly pair your caviar and wine and still get down fingers deep in a plate of pounded jam and I come from a place where the world's best storytellers first spoke, who taught you that you must set forth at dawn be no longer at ease with that thing around your neck before things fall apart. So when you ask me where I come from, there are things that I want to tell you that are louder than my bright green passport. Things that are heavier than the filled explosive cradled in Mutalab's underpants. Things that are more colorful than a well-crafted 419 email. You will never understand who I am until you know exactly where it is that I come from. So Titi Lopez, mm -hmm. uh, you completely changed your life from what to what? Uh, from civil engineering, building roads in Canada, uh -huh. to uh, being a performance poet in Lagos, Nigeria. Because I just felt like I was called to something more, and I was tired of living like in the hamster wheel. And I'd already was I was doing poetry and as a hobby, uh -huh. but something felt like I could make a life out of it, and mm. I just wanted to mm. try. Mm. I didn't know that I would be doing it for as long as I have. I just thought, okay, six months, let's see what happens. One year, let's see what happens, and, mm. and I haven't stopped. And I'm glad. Well, Soko Award is a growing thing in the city, uh -huh, uh -huh. and so I write both for the page and for the stage, and so yeah. I perform at festivals and events. I performed at the inauguration of our current president in 2015, which was the first oh, wow. time they'd ever had a poet. So it was like a sign that some things were happening uh -huh. in the right direction. So what, what is this uniqueness of Lagos that really attracts you? I think it's there's something in the chaos that is like ripe with opportunities for innovation. Mm -hmm, so you mm -hmm. recognize that there's nowhere else really in the world where in all of this chaos, there's an opportunity to build. And, and even in the spoken word community, that's sort of what we're trying to do. It's, mm. it's you know, green land, and it's like you're the first person to come in and just decide what this thing looks like. And mm -hmm. it's really exciting as a creative to be able to do that. It's really exciting as a person to be able to go into a place and feel like I can really add value here in a way that there wasn't value before. There's a magic here that you need to be a part of. Wonderful. <laughs> I almost want to move here now. Oh, well, you should. You should consider it. Let's see. You should. Lagos would love you. I'm sure. Since this a whole long war, we did one day. Take me to where we do my earrings, where uh -huh. my silver sneakers, the 
school building. This is it here. Yes, you're welcome to my shop. How far? 20 points are. You're welcome, sir. This is Aaron. So he's your goldsmith? This yes. This is my goldsmith, Silver Smith. The guy does it. He's one of, Amazing. One of, uh, one of maybe three in Lagos Island. There's not many. <laughs> This is where the magic happens. Yeah. Lovely. This little uh, work bench. So can you show me a little bit how you produce it? Yeah, so what we do, usually uh, we sit down, we look over the sketch, then Aaron will go and buy the silver. So this is uh, locally sourced silver from Kaduna. There's going to be a little ladder area, right? And this mm -hmm. is the top where, where the EPs goes. So Aaron then is going to join them all together. We sit, he looks over, he shows me how he's going to do it. I just confirm if it's okay. But he usually will give me suggestions if he reckons that, you know, it's not going to work this uh -huh, way. Uh -huh. Maybe I should, even sometimes he will change this shape and I'll be like, oh, okay. So Akudo, your story is very interesting actually. So you grew up in Australia. Yes. Your dad is Nigerian, your mom yes. is Aussie. Yes. And a few months ago, you decided to move back to the motherland. Yeah, fatherland. Sorry, fatherland, yeah, exactly. <laughs> And uh, so can you tell me how was this experience to come back here? It's a whole different yeah. world than Aussie land, I guess. Um, it was, for me, I, I felt like it was meant to be. Like it was almost like I was getting pushed, pushed, pushed. Um, Nigeria, it's almost like it's a place of, you know, opportunities. It was like New York, if you can make it here, mm -hmm. you can make it anyway. So I said, um, I wanted to move back here and try something different. Um, and there's so much talent here, so I've been feeling like more fulfilled since I've been here. So it's a challenge every day, I'm learning every day. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different stress, it's a different kind of happiness, a mm. different joy, so. Mm. So can you tell me about the brand you are working on right now? Yeah, so the brand is um, Shakudo. Shakudo, I started Shakudo uh, a few years ago with a, one of my best friends, Shetu. So it's Shetu and Akudo mixed together with Shakudo. We started out doing clothes, but now we moved to accessories. So I'm just doing earrings, uh, bags and shoes. And I use a lot of the local artisans and their skills to um, produce the bags and produce the shoes. For example, one shoe, uh, we have uh, one guy from Badagri who weaves our weave for us, then we have someone in Obalande who does the embroidery for us, and then we have someone who makes the heel um, over in uh, Ogba. So different tribes, these are all different tribes of people. We have so many different skills and a lot of the time we work together to, to produce something that's beautiful. And I love the joy and the rawness about Lagos, so the best thing here is if you're angry about something, you will tell someone. That's Nigeria. If you're angry, they will know. Um, if you're happy, they will know. It's a very raw kind of place where you can just be yourself, be genuine. So can you tell me what you've been through for today's Today. outfit? So if you're wearing like satin, which does uh -huh. not breathe, you have to make sure that you shave everything uh -huh. so it feels like dry and fresh. And like use brown sugar, macarai scrubs, uh -huh. I scrub everything. Oh. And the shea butter in here and coconut oil. Wax so yeah, you it's gonna, wax everything. Well, I shaved it and then I exfoliated it and everything. then I lotioned ev well, uh, almost everything. Okay, almost everything. Okay. I left a little, you know, happy trail. Yeah. <laughs> Hafa, I'm with um, Lagos music new talents, uh, Lady Donnelly and Idris King. What, what what's the tape you're working on at the moment? Uh, currently, I'm working on a tape called the Jiggy Tape. It's uh, it's Jiggy. <laughs> change the world. Is it gonna change the world? Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. So what's the, the sense of it? The sense is this it's very simple music but it's catchy, it's it's French, it's English, it's Portuguese a bit. I've got a song called Sao Paulo on it. For Portuguese. Un poco de Portuguese. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. What about you? Are you working on a on a new album? Um yeah, I'm working on um, an EP. It's called Letters to Her. And it's about my love for the moon, my love and fascination for the moon. All right, guys, how actually did you meet? Do you remember? Um, no, we don't remember. I actually have a better recollection than you, That's Idris, good. because... Um, so basically, Idris dropped a nice song called Cruise, okay. and he mentioned me in it. And before then, we used to talk about music, so like, we started talking a bit more after that. And then, I came to his house one day. I live in Abuja, so I came to his house one day. And he introduced me to his dad, and he's like, "Oh, this is Lady Donnelly. She's a great musician." And his dad says, "Donnelly, I know your dad. Don't you remember? We've been next door neighbors, you know, when we were little." And I, and everything just started coming back to me. And yeah. I asked Idris, I said, "Idris, what's your brother's name?" Yeah. And he told me his brother's name. I was like, "Oh my God, your brother was my homie." Yeah. And then he remembered my brother as well. Yeah. So, the cruise.
it was actually literally a cruise. The name of the song is Cruise. cruise. And that was like a cruise. cruise. So yeah. now like we're inseparable because like we actually we actually next door neighbors. <laughs> That is one of the most traditional um, Nigerian dish, and it's actually uh, yam flour with some special stuff. For example, cow tongue, como, something like that. Apparently, it's this. Uh huh. You have a stew and then the wedu soup. So amala is just this guy that you use. Got the tip of the cow tongue. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> when you eat with your hands, it's very important to keep it very, you know, clean. So you do like this. And then you can mm. It's really spicy and really yummy. No, I'm not in Dubai in the 90s. I'm in Eco Atlantic, a whole new neighborhood of Lagos, built artificially on the ocean. And it's actually where is behind me, Lagos, Fashion and Design Week taking place. So I'm taking you guys, let's go. Let's go. You know what's the best thing about Lagos Fashion and Design Week? Is that it's the only fashion week in the world where they play music before the show, and you can all be vibing. Watch more cultural explorations with me. Pretty simple. Subscribe here.